Welcome to Friday Fish Facts. I'm your host, Ron DeSantis. We are at the Canadian Aqua Farm and we are going to show you the easiest way to hatch brine shrimp with the DIY hatchery. Now I'm gonna say I apologize at the beginning because we are wearing masks. The audio may be a little muffled, but we're gonna try and do our best. So we're gonna get going with Rick and we're gonna show you how he does his brine shrimp. Well, welcome back, Rick. So let's talk about the uh, brine shrimp eggs and salt mix that you sell. Yes. So what do we got here? This is an all-in-one? Yeah, this is a half pound bag. It's got the brine shrimp eggs that you need and the salt and the correct ratio for hatching. So really simple, you just take one tablespoon of the mix, put it in one liter of water and aerate it for about 24 hours to hatch out. So you can use one of these standard pumps, but Rick's got something else that we're gonna use. We're gonna show you what Rick uses just for the purpose of this video. So this is Rick's big air pump, and then he's got the tubing connected to that. We're gonna show you how he puts his tubing in the bottle and gets these things out. So we've got our mix here, which we'll open up. And one tip with this stuff, mm -hmm. if you're not gonna use it up within a couple of weeks, yeah. keep it in the freezer. It'll last a lot longer. Okay. Um, if it's at room temperature for several weeks or months, the hatch rate will start to go down. Okay. But keeping it in the freezer will preserve the hatch rate nicely. Okay. So All right. it's one tablespoon of mix mm -hmm. for one liter of water. Okay. Which is roughly the size of my container here. A little funnel helps to get the, the eggs and salt down in there. There we go, we've just got our standard one liter pop bottle. Yes, and then a second tip, I like to use tank water, fresh water, aquarium water for hatching the eggs. Okay. Works better, if you use tap water, you gotta get rid of the chlorine. Right. So this saves one step just to fill it from the tank. And, and I know so you, don't have, you don't have an air stone on the end of that tube either. I don't, I prefer a piece of rigid airline. It sits in place really nicely and the coarser bubbles do a better job of aerating the brine shrimp eggs. And you don't, so clip that's on it. The, you don't clip on the bottle or anything? I don't, with the rigid airline, it holds it in place. Um, the lid on top of my tank does hold the, the airline in place though. Right, let's have a look at this rigid airline. So the rigid yeah, airline sure. goes into the end of the regular So we've got another one here. Yep, the rigid airline, it comes in about three foot sections in mm -hmm. aquarium stores, then you can cut it down to whatever length you need. Yep. And it just pushes straight into the flexible airline tubing. Right on. Okay. okay, so this one here, Rick has already hatched up. Yes. And how long did that take to hatch? This one, because it was floating in a heated aquarium, it took about 16 hours to hatch. Now okay. You can also hatch them at room temperature. It just takes a little bit longer, closer to 24 hours. So depending on how quickly you want brine shrimp, you can float them in a heated tank or do them at room temperature. And then for collecting, I take the air out. Yeah. And I'll put a light source, a flashlight, mm -hmm. on the side of the bottle. And all the brine shrimp are gonna get attracted to the light, making it really easy to siphon them out of the bottle. Yeah, because we don't wanna give shells or salt water into our freshwater tanks, That's right? That's right, yeah. You wanna avoid any of the shells and uh, separate the brine shrimp from the salt water. Okay, so Rick's got this siphon going. He, all he did was suck on the end of the tube, and then now, now you're just getting the brine shrimp in, right? Yes, I'm just siphoning where the brine shrimp are collecting around the flashlight. So if you could see the end of the see the end of the rigid tube there. So then Rick's got the flashlight right there, so only the brine shrimp, which are attracted to the light, are getting close to that. So you've got the unhatched eggs on the bottom and all the shells, the hatched shells sit on the top, right? That's right. So you'd say this is about 90% hatch rate? Yep, they're 90% plus uh, hatch rate eggs that I use. Which is pretty standard. Yeah, that's the high grade eggs. Okay, there we go. That's all of our brine shrimp in there. Oh, that looks cool. Now, how long are these gonna live like this? Like, As long as they're aerated, they'll last about three or four days without food. Really? Yeah. So if I wanted to hang on to these, then I would just Put an air stone in or something, or yep, just put an that air back stone in. Or use your rigid airline again works really well. Yeah. And do I need to leave it in a fridge or? If you put it in a fridge, it'll last even longer. Okay. You probably get a week or more out of it. Without um, an air stone? Without an air stone in the fridge. They okay. just kind of go dormant. Okay. But uh, room temperature, you get about three or four days uh, with aeration. 
Okay, so we did talk about rinsing quickly, so you're going to rinse these, right? Yeah, separate them from the salt water. Okay. You can either use a brine shrimp net yeah. or just a piece of cloth over a regular fish net works well too. Okay. And then you pour your brine shrimp through here to separate them from the salt water. Oh, yeah. So however much you want to use, yeah. pour it through, and there you go. You're just down to the shrimp. And then you just take the cloth here and then you put the cloth in there? Yeah, and just dip that into the tank. We can feed my clowns here if you okay, want to yeah, we'll see go that. Over. Check out the clownfish. Got some saltwater fish in here. I've never seen saltwater fish in uh, Rick's fish room before. So most people think of baby brine shrimp as being for baby fish. Yeah. But a lot of smaller to medium sized adult fish enjoy it too. I've heard that. Clowns will love it. I've heard that, that also some, some people think that that encourages stubborn fish to breed. Oh, they for see sure. There's some. Uh, yeah, no food, for the food for the babies. Yeah, you can definitely encourage them. So Rick and I were just discussing to rinse or to not rinse, and Rick was saying that he often doesn't rinse. But what's the benefit of rinsing? Well, I didn't use to rinse, and then I tested the water in the, the brine shrimp hatching containers, and I found there's a lot of ammonia there. So at that point, I started rinsing them before I put them in the tank, or at least separating the salt water out. Okay, so you're located, you're in the greater Vancouver area, but you yes. ship throughout all of North America. Yes, I offer free shipping on uh, half pound brine shrimp eggs through my website, canadianaquafarm.com. So that's free shipping within Canada? Within Canada and the US. And free shipping in the US. Yeah. We'll, we'll put a link for that uh, in the description of the video. So do I need to buy like a pop every day and drink a pop every day or can we clean these? No, you can definitely reuse the bottle. Yeah. I'll do about three or four hatches. Yeah. And then you'll find you start to get a bit of a biofilm on the plastic. Uh -huh. And at that point, what I'll do is put maybe a teaspoon of bleach in there, mm -hmm. fill it up with water, let it sit for a day, okay. and then just rinse it out. Just rinse it real yep. well because you got some bleach in there. Exactly. Okay. I'd like to thank Rick at the Canadian Aqua Farm for showing us how he hatches his brine shrimp. Join me next week for another edition of Friday Fish Facts.